And when Cinderella heard the clock strike midnight, she remembered what her fairy godmother had told her. At midnight, her carriage would turn back into a pumpkin and her horses would turn back into mud. Hello? Oh, what up, shouty? Listen to the story of Cinderella, back off. You don't know no story of Cinderella. Now, hold on a minute. Now calm down. If you quit running your mouth, then I tell you. Girl, I'm about to sit up here and tell you the story of Cinderella based on true events. Don't need no evidence. Story talk. See, girl, this little white girl was cleaning fireplaces and other things for her evil stepmom. What? What? No, she ain't prettier than you. I said no, she ain't prettier than you. Now let me finish. Story talk. Her stepsisters were ugly. I'm VIP. There was a prince named R. Kelly. It's just a coincidence, girl. He was having a ball. So Cinderella got a fairy to turn a pumpkin into a bigger pumpkin so she could go to the party. What? What? Girl, I wish you would pay attention. The pumpkin had a door. I know what I'm talking about. You don't know the story. I know this story. I'm R. Kelly. Story talk. Story talk. Um, the pumpkin turned into a carriage. The prince's name was Prince Charming, not R. Kelly. Ho, ho, hold up, kid. Didn't I just give you money to buy an ice cream from the ice cream truck? Yeah, your face was smiling then. Back to my story. Cinderella went to the club and she was bumping and grinding so hard that she lost her shoe. But she still had a pumpkin. I said she still had a pumpkin. Story talk during the after party. The fairy's magic wore off and her pumpkin went back to a smaller size. She was like, ooh, I wish my pumpkin was big again. But it ain't so she went home. Story talk. Prince R. Kelly found the shoe. I told you it's just a coincidence, girl. I ain't gonna tell you again. Prince R. Kelly found the shoe and went to Cinderella's home and he was like, girl, I wish you would try these shoes on. The shoe fits Cinderella and Prince R. Kelly was like, I told you it's just a coincidence, girl. It ain't me. I've been with you five years now and you think I'm gonna cheat on you with a girl who cleans all the time? Is you tweaking? No, you are gonna let me finish. What? That's it, I'm sick and tired of all this. I'm coming home, getting my stuff, and getting up out of Dodge. You ain't gonna have to worry about me no more. And the next time you want a story, go ask one of your funky librarian friends. Story talk. You bogus girl, Milton. Milton. Start the car, warm it up. Get ready to take me home. What's wrong with that girl? She lost her mind. 